Unguard is this small little indie game that I played the demo of during Steam Next Fest, thought it was fine, and was shocked that the game actually came out as early as it did. Whatever, I'm bored, I decided to play it. Here's what I thought of it. The game kind of introduces you with a lot of story and character kind of right off the bat, though granted you can skip it and you won't be missing anything. The story is whatever. I don't think it is particularly good. It's kind of bad, but it's fine. It, it gives you context for the level that you're in. And sometimes it doesn't even do that. Mainly though, I would recommend playing the game for the gameplay and the gameplay is pretty great. Graphically, the game looks good, it looks better than a standard indie game, but because it looks better than a standard indie game, it kind of looks worse than a triple A video game. It's just missing this level of polish that kind of leaves it in the, I don't know, like uncanny valley. It looks low budget, but it also looks good. It's weird to explain, but you kind of see what I'm saying here, right? The environments and physics in the game, by the way, are amazing. Like I think this game does look good for a lot of it. And the voice acting is also really well done. going to get how did he even get out of that cage it has a lot of personality especially from the main character and the soldiers she beats up i like all the lines and the line deliveries most of the characters give not some of them but most of them i think are pretty good the music also is really good that's why it probably is being sold with a soundtrack if you want it also as just a really good kind of swashbuckling theme going on and i always like that type of music and era some technical issues with the game would be the most consistent problem I ran into was once or twice throughout a mission, the music or sound effects would just stop completely and it would be weirdly silent. When you got into another encounter, the music would pop back in, but that would be the most common issue I ran into. On to the stuff that's really good about Engard. The combat. The combat is so good. So you have a one button attack and you have a one button parry and you have a one button dodge and specific enemies do specific attacks that require either a parry or a dodge to respond to. It's all pretty basic and it's good. It's fine. You know, there's nothing super wrong with this. If you do well enough throughout the combat, you generate enough panache, which I think is fun, and you get to do one of three special moves. That's great. But it's the environment that makes this combat something special. So throughout these levels that you're in, there's items that you can throw that damage enemies, or you can throw a bucket on a guard's head, and now all of a sudden they're dazed and stunned. You can then kick enemies downstairs into tables, into weapon racks. They can slip on wine. You can blind them with chili powder. You can shoot cannons at them. You can leap over their heads and disorient them. There's so much you can do while, while balancing around the three buttons of attack, parry, and dodge. And I think that's super cool. They have a pretty simplistic gameplay system, which isn't bad to do. It's fun to do attack, parry, and dodge. However, what really makes Unguard what it is, what really makes it a worth mentioning video game, is the fact that doing that is never going to be great. You know, sometimes there'll be enemies that you have to parry, but another enemy's attacking you with an attack you have to dodge. So you can't just stand still in Batman Arkham Asylum combat these guys. You are required to run around and interact with the environment and really treat it like characters do in movies, kicking crates and kicking tables into people. It's super fun. Pretty much the entire game revolves around its combat encounters and how those encounters require you to use the environment. And for me, I think that is absolutely spectacular. It blew me away. I couldn't believe how good the game's combat consistently continued to be with the increase of enemy types, the increase of enemy difficulties, and the increase of items you get to interact with in the environment. I will say that I played this game on hard mode and it took less than four hours to beat on hard mode. The game is four levels long, including the tutorial level. It is extremely short. The game also has an arena mode that has a few roguelike elements to it, but that arena mode also took me about an hour in total, 
to complete every single difficulty run. All four runs took a total of about an hour. The arena mode is really fun though, it incorporates a lot of different mashups of enemies and boss fights that exist throughout the game and really does test you mechanically and I thought that was really fun because it gives you a bunch of different environments to play around with and items in those environments that might not be in the campaign. The biggest crime that this game commits is that it is really short. And I understand for a lot of people paying $20 for a game that only has four levels and a bonus mode that takes less than an hour to complete does not sound great. And I can respect that opinion. But I have always said two things when it comes to video games. Number one, I will take gameplay over graphics every day of the week of the month of the year. And number two, I would take an incredibly made game that's short over a middling game that's long. And currently, the games that are coming out now are big and they're long. And having a short game that was so much fun to play and so much different than other games I have been playing, just the use of the environment was so enjoyable. Honestly, Unguard was an incredible game. It just happens to be short. And there's nothing wrong with being the short kid.